What's up guys and welcome to a new video. In this uh, video we have a short pinning process simulation. If you don't know what is the short pinning process, I will just put some links for you. So the objective in this video is to change the diameters of this ball. I already have the keyword set up and everything is ready. I just want to change the diameters of the balls so that I will see the effect of different diameters on the short pinning process. So first, I go to right view. I want to measure the size of the balls. So I go to measure tool, distance between two nodes. Pick these two nodes and I can see the distance is 1.5 millimeters or 0 0.0015 meter. I go to shape measure. Then I select sphere solid and the radius I put 0 0.004. This means the diameter will be 8 millimeters. I want it actually to be 0 0.8, but if I put the radius very small, then I cannot increase the density of the ball. This is because of a problem in the repost. So first I want to make the uh, 8 millimeter in diameter, then I scale it down by a fa factor of 10, and then I will get uh, 0 0.8 millimeter diameter. So the center is 0, 0, 0 of the scaling and the scale factor is 10. So I scale down, then click on the new part and accept. Now what, what left is to reposition the first ball. So I move up in the Z direction. I just adjust it and make it in the uh, proper position. And then I want to copy the, uh, the small ball and make multiple balls so first i want to move the old balls to the sides so i select all of them then i put this distance is one millimeter and i move x direction and click on uh, positive okay now they are out of the way i can play with the new ball so first i want to move the distance should be half of the diameter. So I put the radius and click on that one and it yeah, should be one more zero here. Then negative. Okay, this is the right position. Now I go to move copy. I click first ball, part first ball, then I click on the new ball, the mesh of the new ball that I did. Then I accept. Okay, now what left is to translate and copy. So I put the distance, it's the same distance. I click by part, sorry, click by part. Then I copy elements. Then I put the part ID. The part ID will be the second ball, part number seven. Then I move positive like this, okay. Then I put number eight, then I make another copy. Alright, so what left now is to move them up. So I move in the Z direction, but here actually I don't need to copy it because I already have one copy. Then I move up again, part number, the ball number three, and here I go, I have it. Now I do the same thing. I move copy part number four, I mean the fourth ball, part number nine. I move up until here, okay, except. Then, this ball, I put part ID number 10 until here. Okay, then again, number 11 for the third ball will be the sixth ball. Accept. Now I repeat the same process to make the third layer of the balls. So I move up and put part number 12. Accept. Then here. Part will be number 13. Move up and up and up. And then accept. And this is the last one. Part ID number 14. Okay. Then accept. Now from this view, everything is fine. But if I rotate, I put the front view. You can see we need some repositioning. 
so I click on the first three walls and move negative the distance should be half of the diameter and then I click on the top three walls and then move okay so now the repositioning is done I need to delete the previous walls the original big balls so click on delete by area then delete accept F2 and uh, show all the parts then go to the keyword manager and then delete this part number 15 this is an extra part which is which was the original ball that I meshed so that's how you create a ball of different size and then reposition them of course I could just scale the original balls but I actually want to make the mesh a bit finer and have a smoother ball so that's all for this video thank you very much and see you next time bye bye